Here with a couple of the goal scorers in tonight's 4-0 victory over Temple. We'll start with uh, Jack Clark. Uh, you got the guys on the board here with uh, your first goal, and that really kind of opened the floodgates. But let's talk about the difference between the first half and the second half. It seemed like uh, you guys really made some big-time adjustments in half number two, and uh, it came out firing as you got that goal just a couple minutes in. Yeah, we knew in the second half that we had to come out with some more passion, and we just had to get that first goal. And once that happened, we knew that the floodgates would open and we were able to get to the second, the third, the fourth, and that's what happened. Certainly, and uh, you know, it seemed like once you got that first goal, the momentum continued to build. Really, just a, a great 45 minutes from you here in half number two. Yeah, I think that was probably our best second half of the year. You know, the response that we had from our last conference game, which was the UConn game, coming here and getting a 4 0 win is big for the team. No doubt about it. Well, you got the first goal, uh, Nick. You were able to get the second goal off of the uh, penalty kick. Nice job by Daniel O'Jenny to set it up. But uh, you had me faked out up here in the booth. That was a nice one from you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I just knew that it was going to be a critical goal. You know, get that second one, you can really. Uh, take that good advantage and put the game away. So Daniel did good to earn it, and then I just knew I had to bury it. So We've been talking all week about how big of a matchup this was and how important it could be for the team in the, the standings come the end of the year. But it seems even beyond that, the momentum of a, of a win like this can really go a long way. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, momentum is a lot in college soccer, and uh, we know the conference games are important. Um, and we try to make Gettler a fortress for us. So tonight was a good statement on that part. And um, we're just looking to build off it as we do and take every game one at a time. Well, you guys certainly took this game tonight. Congratulations and a happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, it feels like we keep saying it, but perhaps the biggest win of the season for the UC men's soccer team is the Bearcats defeat Temple 4-0 here with head coach Hilton Days and uh, a very impressive performance from your team, particularly in the second half with all four goals. Yeah, you know, I mean, I thought the guys played really well in the second half. I mean, we made some adjustments at halftime. We felt like, you know, we really weren't playing our style. I thought we um, we did a better job of breaking their pressure. I thought we got the ball in, in dangerous areas, especially in the wide areas. And then Jack obviously got the first one. And then when we brought Daniel back on, we thought that he was going to provide some uh, – uh, 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 some threats in behind, and he was able to do that, and, and then he earned the penalty kick, and then Nick stepped up and uh, and scored. And I think once we got the second goal, then I think things opened up and the game got stretched, and I think that's when we really got the third and the fourth goal. But, you know, this team, our team, I think is a very resilient team, and I thought that, you know, we were a little frustrated in the first half, and it was just one of those tactical first half that no, nothing much seemed to be happening. But the second half, I thought that we really went in, and I thought that we went in on the front foot, and, you know, I think the results speaks for itself with, with how we played and the quality of our play, especially on the attacking end of the ball. Yeah, I mean, I think many would say this was probably your best 45 minutes of soccer uh, this season, but really a complete performance. You got the four goals in the second half, but the defense was good. Pedro was good in goal tonight. Really a, a total team effort. Absolutely. You know, Pedro was excellent in goal. And, you know, I mean, they're uh, number nine. Gomez is one of the leading scorers in the country, and we basically shut him out. And uh, I think he might have had one or two shots on goal. So I think our back four played really well. I think Patrick and Aaron in the middle, you know, were really good in terms of winning first and second balls and keeping things tight. And then Peyton and Chris, you know, were good, you know, on, on the edges with not allowing them opportunities to serve balls or get into one-on-one -on -one situations. Overall, I mean, I, I think it was a total team effort. You hear that all the time, but I think this one was really – um, very indicative of that and I just feel so proud of our team proud of the effort because Temple's a good team and Temple's got some good wins and so for us to get this three points that puts us um, you know with nine points in the league and three and one I think just speaks volume for where this team's come from day one. You know, we talked about it earlier this week, how important this match was. We knew it would be a tough match, but, you know, now you get guys sit 3-1 and one in the league. You got some key tiebreakers over some other top teams, so you're positioned well. But even more importantly than that, what does a win like this do for your team momentum-wise heading into the final stretch? Oh, I think it does. It's, it's everything. It means everything. It gives us continued belief. It shows that, you know, that we're a team that can score goals. Certainly, we feel good about getting the win here in front of our home fans and at home because, you know, I mean, you got to win your home games. And for us, this was a, this was a, a statement game in terms of, um, you know, getting the result and the way we got it and how we scored the goals in the second half. So I think this gives our team unbelievable confidence. And, um, and hopefully this momentum will continue because we come back on Wednesday and play out of conference against Eastern Illinois. Um, and, and we need to keep this going. Well, you guys definitely did a good way, good uh, good job getting the momentum going here tonight, and we'll uh, look forward to seeing you back out here on Wednesday against Eastern Illinois. Thank you very much. All right, that's head coach Hilton Days as the Bearcats take home a 4-0 win over Temple tonight at Gettler Stadium.